to help us in this endeavor tonight is our host for the evening, a fine singer, fine actor, a great entertainer, and one of the foremost musical figures of our time, Mr. Frank Sinatra. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, James Francis Cagney lovers everywhere. I guess it's no secret the reason we've uh, pulled the world together tonight is to honor a great motion picture star, James Cagney, the actor. And we're here to pay tribute to a wonderfully warm and sensitive human being, Jim Cagney, the man. Part poet, painter, farmer, conservationist, humanitarian, and he's also got a pretty good sense of humor. I was in a, a Beverly Hills restaurant, and I saw the back of Jim sitting at another table, and I went over and tiptoed behind him, and I said, Ma's dead, you dirty rat. <laughs> he never turned around at all. He simply quietly said, Francis, that's the worst imitation I ever heard in my life. <laughs> and then, of course, when this shindig began to be talked about, I naturally was quite excited, as we all were. And uh, when I found they were going to plan to do, you know, a big show like this, I called the American Film Institute. Nobody answered. <laughs> so I called my buddy Paul Keyes, and I said, Paul, if I'm not part of the show, I may cry a lot. Because I love this guy and all of the work he's done all through my own life. And I must say that the AFI and Paul were very kind, very sweet. They said, Frank, we'd love to have you take part in the show, but only one condition, you do no impersonations. <laughs> so here I am, and here you are. And I must say, his presence is something to jot down in my own book of memories, and I'm gonna have a little more to say about that later in the show, about this feisty little Irishman. I have a song that says what I feel about him. In the meantime, you're gonna see a lot of people with a lot of love for Jim, and you're gonna see clips from many of his great films and he sure made a lot of pictures. Like in 1938, for example, that was a great Cagney year. He made a trio of unforgettable performances. The rough and tumble cowboy and Oklahoma kid, George Raft's prison partner in Each Dawn I Die, and the king of the bootleggers in the Roaring Twenties. I remember the year that those pictures came out. As a matter of fact, I was almost 20 years old when it happened. And I was singing in all the roadside stands around the eastern part of the United States. And a funny part of it, Jim, is that I probably made more money just getting tips where I worked than you got from Warner Brothers in those days. <laughs> of course, later on in the years, I worked for Mr. Warner, so I know what happened. <laughs> to jog your memory, here are scenes from 10 great Cagney pictures. The first scene is a tender Jim. And then he gets rough with the ladies and rougher with the gents. I once asked Jimmy how he explained it. I mean, playing so many really tough guys and not having the audience react to him with anything but love. And he said, Francis, always sprinkle the goodies along the way. Be as tough as you want, but sprinkle the goodies for a laugh here and there. Because anything they can laugh at, they can't hate. <laughs> 